Yo, what up guys? It is Jose with Aligning Purposes, making this channel for you to help you find your purpose, whatever that may be in life, uh, to take you where you want to go. Um, it could be literally anything, graduating school, nursing school, school, uh, owning your own business, um, being the best athlete, being uh, the best dad, coach, teacher, whatever it may be to help you live with a purpose um, to be successful, to be wealthier, to own your time, to quit your job and, and, and own your time, build an asset for yourself, um, which ideally you are the asset, building yourself, um, loving the moment, living in the present, loving that you're in the position you're at, whatever, whether that be um, not where you want to be, but just loving it, being okay with it. You know, I want to be places, I want to travel the world. I want to go to places I've never been before. I want, um, I want that car, that new car. I want that house. But I know that I have to love this moment. Take a deep breath and love this moment. Like if this, because this moment is priceless. Me making this video is priceless. You listening or watching this video is priceless to know that you are you are priceless there's no limit you could put on yourself to just enjoy the present moment while striving for the future i'm enjoying this moment i'm not making these videos because it's like no i hate this i i, I want to i want to go like I, I wish i lived in a house i wish i had five cars i i wish i i i could be in europe right now no i love this moment I'm happy where I'm at. So just live in the moment, love the moment while striving for the future. I love this moment. I love that I'm making this video. I love that I can maybe captivate an audience. I can motivate an audience, give value to an audience while striving for the future. I love this. And um, just a quick story. A couple years ago, I worked at a, at a, at a job at a well-known company, a warehouse. I'm not going to say the company. And I wasn't comfortable there. I mean, it, it gave me 40 hours. Um, I worked four days, three days off, but I didn't like it. I knew I was there for four years and I knew that that's not where I wanted to be. I didn't want a higher position. There was always a uh, room for, for moving up, but I didn't want it because the people I would see moving up or getting positions and, and uh, um, getting a higher position, I would just see them so invested into the company almost as if it sucks you in more um taking all your creativity <clears throat> all your decision making and just i would just see those people tired their, their whole life was consumed by that company and i'm not speaking for everybody i'm sure there were some people that 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 uh have did some stuff on the side or or you know they 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 were moving up but they had their eye on a different prize but i'm saying for the majority of people um they would just take on a bigger responsibility that just stressed them out and i didn't want that i always knew i wanted to do my own thing so sometimes i not not sometimes but all the time there was a, when there was an opportunity to move up yeah sometimes i went for the interview i tried but i i knew that i didn't want to move up um it's kind of doesn't really make sense but i just i knew I, I wanted to invest in myself, start my own company. So what I would start doing is I would start cutting lawns. On my three days off, I would go cut lawns. I would go look for work. I would find um, ways to market myself, make flyers, put them in little uh, bags with rocks. To to I would find with the capital I got from my job, I would pay my friends to come help and and put uh rocks and bags with the flyers and tie them up and just have a whole truckload of little baggies i wouldn't pay them a lot but i would pay them and looking back it was such a beautiful experience because it was just it, it was just beautiful just having friends just being just literally like you're having your own business like it felt really good being in that entrepreneur mind and uh you know living in humility not caring what people thought that i would go cut lawns that I would be in a be my dad's beat up old Nissan crash front uh, hood held by bungee cords, uh, no air conditioner. I, I didn't care because I, I wanted, I was looking for something more and I was, I was paving an opportunity. I was creating opportunities for myself. So looking back at it, 
it's like I, I took I made it I made a decision to 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 take action uh, to make an opportunity for myself to make enough capital on the side to supplicate the capital I was making at my job I didn't get there but I was making some capital on the side um, to to eventually maybe start my business you know have people work under me I had a whole plan set up where I, I would have guys uh, you know I would hire friends to uh, I would build a route and then give it to my friend and and I didn't get that far in the process but I, I was cutting lawns. I was giving jobs to my friends. I, when I had a day where I had to do some big jobs and I had like five houses on my day off, I would call a friend. I'd say, do you, do you want to come help me? I'll, I'll give you, I'm giving work. So it felt really good. Uh, sometimes I didn't get paid. Sometimes I would, I would work on a yard for three hours, give a big, nice clean up the backyard in the front. I didn't get paid. People literally didn't pay me. And I would get mad. I would say, oh, man, what the, are you serious? How are people not going to pay? Like, what, what kind of people would do this? So I would get mad and I would be, man, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come slash their tires. I'm going to egg their house. They're like, just how furiated I was at the time. But you know what? I took a deep breath and said, you know what? No, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not me. If, if you know you know you know what I said you know what you guys need it more than me um, I didn't say to them but in my head I said they need it more than me it's okay I'm gonna you know this is a blessing in disguise I know something better is gonna come along the way so there was a couple times where I didn't get paid but you know I enjoyed the struggle I took it as a sign to just you know what paid or not paid I provided a good service to them I provided a good service. I feel good about myself. I know, I trust in the universe that it's going to reward me with something greater. So I, I enjoyed the struggle. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Looking back, um, I just, I enjoyed those moments working with friends, uh, just enjoying that day, just cutting lawns, you know, just, just making that opportunity for myself. Uh, long story short, I did that for about a year. You know, didn't have on and off. I didn't have too much um, clients. I had a little route and I would get side jobs in between. But long story short is I would make an opportunity for myself. And now I'm at a better job. I, uh, I don't do it no more. Uh, opportunity came to apply for another job. I applied for it out of uh, a lot of people that applied for that job. And, and I got it. And I feel that's an example of, of the universe uh, uh, paying me dividends. Here you go, Jose. You went out there, you, you, you stuck to your gut, you took action, here's your reward. A better job that gives you more time to, to, to focus on yourself. Now use this as a stepping stone for the next step and that's what I'm doing. Now I'm making these videos. Now I'm trying to build my own brand. I'm trying to do my own thing. And I, I always look back at when I, I took the decision, I made the decision to go cut lawns and, and you know take the losses, take them well too, in a positive light, not negative, not give up and say, man, people aren't paying me, I don't care. I'm like, I'm gonna stop. No, I kept going. I looked at it in a positive light and I just, I, I got rewarded with a better job, which gives me more time. Um, uh, to focus on myself and, and I got blessed with the opportunity when I applied for this new job I remember when I get the application uh, I wanted the job yes of course but I I knew that I I think that day before I went for the application I was putting out flyers uh, for my for my business landscaping and I told myself after I got the application you know what this job would be nice but I don't need it I don't need this job because I'm focusing on my goal. I'm focusing on myself, on getting work for myself because I'm keeping my own the prize. So, and I eventually got the job. I got the job, um, but I, I knew no matter what, with the job or without the job, I was going to uh, find a way to, uh, to, to make it, to make it. And now I'm blessed with the job. 
um, that gives me more time to focus on myself and make these videos which I, I am going to take that example from landscaping and, and going with that even making these videos I might get a lot of negative feedback I might fail in what I'm doing but that's okay because I know I lived through that example that you know just take your failure as well each failure is equivalent to each success all those times I failed all those times I didn't get paid I took it positively and now I'm rewarded with a job that where I'm at right now it, where I'm blessed for where I'm at for making these videos and the losses I take here if if I do take any losses which I'm sure I will because life always brings adversity um, you're always gonna have setbacks, but I'm gonna take it positively because I know if you're persistent and you keep your eye on the prize, something better is gonna come down the line. So just just making this video to, to motivate you guys to find your purpose, whatever that may be. If you have to go and get cans to build capital, uh, to get gas, to go where you wanna go, if you have to ride your bike to a job if you have to take the bus, five different buses, and then on your days off, collect cans to build capital to go um, to do something, you can, you can, you can, you can live in humility. Don't care what people think. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Um, it's, it's a beautiful thing. The obstacle is a way. There's a book by Ryan Holiday calling, I mean... <laughs> There's a book by Ryan Holiday named The Obstacle is the Way. I, I recommend that book to anybody that's going through adversity. And it's, it's part of the process of, of being successful, of, 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 of your purpose. So just remember that. Stay persistent. Take everything positively. Fill it with positive thoughts, your mind with positive thoughts. Whether you get negative feedback, negative criticism, whatever. Fill it with a positive reinforcement to your mind and you will make it you will make it take everything in a positive light all right so find your purpose whatever that may be um, just use everything you have right now as a resource um, to to build yourself and better tools will come down the line better tools will come more opportunities will come to you so whatever it may be go out there get it and don't be scared all right please like share subscribe if you like the video if you like the content please subscribe share this to anybody you feel really needs this if not needs it just maybe might like my videos so thanks for taking the time to listen to me and i hope you have a wonderful day peace